there's some bullshit, okay? And it's, it's gotten to the point where like, I, I don't even know what to say, okay? But it's just, it's something to one, once again, reinforce the narrative that uh, they, they, they just, they don't care about their consumer base whatsoever. Have you heard of Nino Cooney? Well, you should have, because it just released live today. And as a bonus trade, I'm going to be streaming on my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash tecton because I've been very curious uh, about what Nino Cooney Cross World is going to be. I've been following it for quite a while and right now it looks really good. I mean, it's a Studio Ghibli RPG and it's an MMO, okay? And it's going to be mobile. It should be sick. The world looks beautiful. The soundtrack sounds beautiful and the gameplay already has really got me interested. And there's even music that has select tracks with the legendary Joe Hisaishi who has made tons of music for Studio Ghibli. And the game looks dope. I can't wait. I'm going to be playing it. I'll probably be playing it right now if you see this. But for real, if you haven't checked out Nino Kuni Cross World, you definitely should. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be there. Hopefully it's as good as it looks, which I mean, if it is, good Lord. <laughs> good Lord. But yeah, check it out. Nino Kuni, thank you for watching today's video. And I hope you all enjoy and use the link in my description to pin comment to download and try it for yourself. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the video. And I just wanted to talk about it for a couple seconds because it's it's just really f***ing cringe. And I, and I hope god that nobody actually does anything that this company wants them to do because they they do this thing where they need people to do shit they 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 need they need people to play their game they need people to go out have fun they need people to back them up for example twitch streamers i'm one of them did that for about a year they're about a year and a half still do it from time to time when the game's not shit uh, but they decided to do this great this great fucking idea change to make version 2.7 twitch streamer recruitment event and i'm gonna real i already saw this a couple days ago but i just did i didn't want to be pissed off okay but believe believe it or not believe it or not i actually don't like being angry okay being angry is like one of my my least favorite things to fucking do but they put out this fucking tweet and if you haven't seen this hey welcome to round 57 of hoyaverse treats their players and their content creators like absolute garbage. So let's just go ahead and dive into it because it's so much fun to realize another reason why this game sometimes feels beyond hope and it drives me fucking insane. And the amount of people that I see calling me saying, well then just quit if it's so bad. We'll just quit if it's so bad. Dude, honestly, I probably should. But the problem is, and I've said this a thousand times, all they gotta do is just stop being a fucking idiot. It's really not hard. Like the amount of additional brain cells required to fix this fucking game is insane. It, it's so low, it's insane. Let's just go ahead and look at this. Wow, and it's another thing that, that seems like a cool concept. Once again, it's, it's surface level. It seems like a cool concept. If this is all you fucking saw, if this is all you fucking saw, you probably think, wow, what a great idea. This is very good. Cool. What a wholesome, independent company. Just wait, just wait a second. Because you might be wondering, why are you so angry about this? Dear Travelers, the Genshin Impact version 2.7 Hidden Dreams of the Depths update is here. Stream your content, complete missions, and earn Primo Gems now. What do you think they're going to ask the content creators to do? And what do you think they're going, you're going to get for helping Hoyoverse out with their ordeals and carrying out their agenda as a company? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's find out. All right, let's, let's deep dive. Let's deep dive into this. Dear Travelers, the Genshin Impact 2.7 to Hidden Dreams of the Depths event update is here. The Genshin Impact streamer recruitment event on Twitch has also started. Stream your content, complete missions, and earn Primo Gems. Registration period, May 23rd to 27th. I will be passing. Miss me with that bullshit. You're not a gang member, you're a tourist. Email notification on May 30th. Event duration, May 31st through June 21st. 21 days. Reward calculation, June 22nd, July 7th. Okay, Primo Gems will be delivered within 30 business days after the reward calculation period. Now, I would assume, man, if they need that much time in order to send out some Primo Gems to their content creators, sure must be a lot. But let's just keep going down here real quick. And then content, main mission, primary streamer challenge. Claim up to Primo Gems, 640. 640 Primo Gems, wow, that's the equivalent of $10. Might even be less of in-game currency uh that is four poles four summons okay so four summons that's about be like one one forty fifth of a guaranteed five star 
Okay, so you get 145th of a guaranteed five star. Insane. All you have to do is stream in the Genshin Impact category, which, by the way, in case you don't know, uh, is dying like fucking crazy. Do you want to know why? Because nobody wants to play your fucking category. Game, which, do you want to know why? The because way, there's nothing to fucking do. Uh, 8.4K viewers, when this shit used to sit at a comfy 30 to 40K viewers. And also, I have no idea how it even has 8.4K viewers because the top most viewed streamer is Fob and he has 1.3K. So I don't know how many streamers with like 50, 40, 30, 20, viewers there must be but surely there must be a massive conglomerate of fucking you know streamers down there in the in the in the depths in the depths of the genshin impact category and let's see let's see what fob's doing big content creator for genshin that bothers with this hello Fob, i stopped even signing up for the goddamn the content game? creator program right now i'm not even in it i don't even get anything now i'm just, just annoying to sign up every fucking month True. right okay well no Hello, Bob. Are you having fun playing the game right now? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I do the same shit on Genshin every day. It's kind of a routine. Less less so about fun, more like doing routine. It's it's been it's been optimized into my routine. My routine now is what is it? It's uh -huh. PGR dailies, Honkai dailies, Epic Seven, Wyvern. Yep. Genshin dailies, Genshin elite, variety game. So yeah, it, it, at this point, it's just my, it's just my, another part of my daily routine. Not enjoying it, but doing it because it's been structured into his fucking routine. Just like the majority of players who don't play, the, who play the game, they don't enjoy it, but they're used to it because the game used to be good back in the day and they really don't want to give up on it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, that was not scheduled. That was not scripted whatsoever. Just ask a simple question. So let's see how many we get. How many how many business hours do we have to stream to get the equivalent of 145th of a five star? Probably one hour would be, I think that I think streaming for one hour would be more than enough and you know quite generous for them to give you 10 whole dollars. I mean, that's the same as you know, working a minimum wage job. A minimum wage job, you know. Work work an hour in Canada, get eleven bucks, easy, good to go in Canada. I think in the United States around seven forty, depending on the uh, the state that you live in. During the event, streaming the Genshin Impact category on Twitch for a total of eight to sixteen hours to get one hundred and sixty primo gems. Twenty four hours for three hundred and twenty. More than twenty four hours to get six hundred and forty. How in the fuck? <sighs> do a 24 hour stream for $10. Why do you think so many content creators are disgruntled? You even heard from Fob saying another thing that I didn't even pick up on until right now. He doesn't even bother signing up for the content creator program, nor do I, because it's way too much fucking hassle and these people don't fucking get it. They make you do the, jump through the little hoops so that we can get a couple extra primo gems every fucking month. When in reality, it's like, hey, bitch, why don't you just fucking see that I'm making videos and stop making me sign up for this shit? It's fucking ridiculous. Now let's see what other bonus goodies we get. Clear the spiral abyss, floor 10 with nine stars to earn 10 fucking primo gems? Are you out of your fucking mind? Beat the spiral abyss to get 30 primo gems perfectly. Log in for 15 days to get 30 primos. Complete your dailies 15 times to earn 30 primos. All of this shit is less than a pull. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Do you want to know why? Because this company does not respect you as a player. They don't respect you as a content creator. They don't. They don't. They don't. And there's nothing that you can fucking tell me to convince me otherwise. There's no way. There's no fucking way. So yes. Is there a reason why I'm pissed off? Yes. Because I've been dealing with this shit behind the scenes for a year and six months. And what's even worse is the content creators in this game also don't respect each other. Because if we did, we would have already grouped up as a conglomerate and voiced our concerns as content creators. But instead, we'll all stay in our little bubbles. We'll suck each other's dicks and we won't say anything. Why does Tectone complain so much? Well, let me tell you, because it's very easy when things are this fucking shit and have been this shit for a very long time. I apologize that I see a game that can be better. I apologize when I see a content creating ecosphere that could be better. I'm sorry if there's a little bit too much virtue signaling and dick sucking that is being used 
for manipulation. I apologize if I voiced my concerns on that, and I apologize if that bothers you. But if there's one thing that you can't say right now, is that you cannot tell me that I was wrong about all this bullshit that I've been saying since the fucking beginning, from the beginning. And it's always been this way, but once again, Hoyoverse slipped up and showed they do not give a fuck about you or their content creators. I apologize if that makes you upset, but that's the way that it fucking is. And I'll be real, Genshin Impact, if your cost per mileage on each YouTube video wasn't so ridiculously high, nobody would cover your fucking game because you don't care. I'm lucky, but feel free to tell me why I'm toxic. Feel free to tell me why I'm complaining, but uh, I'll be real. Uh, if somebody shit in my sandwich, I would probably say, mm, I don't want to eat that sandwich anymore. Perhaps bring me a new one. <sighs> uh, but yeah, keep on telling me why I'm toxic. Hope you enjoyed the video. Get to the next one.